All right, everybody, welcome to your tutorial on the PrintQ software. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to download, set up, and start running the software to make your farm more profitable. Let's jump right in. All right, first thing you need to do is go to the PrintQ website. It is printq.ca, and you wanna to go to the downloads page. Here, you are gonna find the link to download the latest version of the software that is gonna give you free access to up to three printers. You also find some older versions of the software and all of the resources that you are gonna need for your printers and for your ejection and for your automation. Everything is gonna be on the downloads page. If you don't see it at the top, it's gonna to be at the bottom, but this is the resource page that you are gonna need in order to get set up. Now, once you download the software, what you're gonna see is a command window pop up with a bunch of code that looks like it's running really fast. That is a good sign. Let that run for about 30 seconds and it should open your internet browser with a new tab that brings you to the dashboard. If that doesn't happen, type in localhost dot dot 5000 and that should bring you to the dashboard. If that doesn't happen, please reach out to us, let us know and we will help you get set up. Once you're on the dashboard here, this is going to be your main control interface. But before we can play with it, I need to just walk you through some of the other pages. First one here is the printers. This is where we are going to add the printers to the software. Second one here is the history page. This is where we can see what we've printed throughout time. Next one here is the bulk upload page. This is where if you have a full Iron Man suit of 100 different files that you want to print through the software, you can bulk upload it all and basically keep it all organized and nice and seamless and you don't have to upload each file individually. Next one here is the license page. If you want to connect more than three printers, you can buy a license on the license page of our website and you can connect up to 50 printers. If you need more than that, please reach out to us. Last one here is the support page. If you have any questions about how to use this, please reach out and we will get back to you as soon as we can. Now let's start connecting some printers. First thing you need to do is enter whether it's a Prusa or a Bamboo printer and then fill in all of the appropriate name. Your Prusa link API P and IP address will come from the printer. The printer name and the group are what you set up yourself. Same thing with Bamboo. The IP address, the serial number and the access code come from the printer. The printer name is what you give the printer, the individual printer, and then you need to assign that printer into a group. The group I would recommend going with one, two, three, four, five, or by printer brands. The idea here is that we are trying to mass produce. And so if you give a file to printer group one, it is gonna distribute that file to all of the printers in group one up to the certain quantity that you give it. And so I recommend trying to group your printers together because it will make life easy unless you are doing large bulk prints where each individual printer needs to be named individually. Alternatively, if you don't want to add your printers individually, what I would recommend is the bulk add printers section. If you refresh the page, I've got a little bug that I need to work out, but here are templates that you can use to upload all of that information for multiple printers, and then you can just upload that form as a CSV. It's super, super efficient if you're running an entire farm, especially if you ever just need to reset the system, disconnect your printers, reconnect all of them. This is the way to do it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna upload my master file that shows all of my Prusa printers. Here you can see all of the data. I've got 71 printers that I need to connect. My farm's going through a little bit of maintenance right now, so we'll see what that looks like on the dashboard. And when we go back to the dashboard, you can see that I've got 71 printers that are offline. Those should slowly connect over the next like two to three minutes. You can see some of them have already started to connect. Some of them are in the stopped state, so they're not gonna be counted here. But this is going to be your dashboard that shows you the exact status of all of your printers so you can see what's going on. Now, underneath this dashboard, while these printers are connecting, let's just go through everything else we have here. The new order section is really exciting. This is where you're gonna upload your files. What you need to make sure you do here is upload the proper file for the proper type of printer that you're sending it to. Always group your printers by their type, so don't mix bamboo and Prusa printers. Don't mix A1s and, and A1 mini printers. Put those all into individual groups and then create the file for that individual printer style. Now create the file and then choose the quantity. This is how many of these files are gonna get distributed. So if you have 10 printers in group one, but you only want a quantity of five, it's only gonna send out five units or five files. Then you need to select the group that you wanna send it to. For us, we're gonna send it to group one and we are going to enable ejection. Ejection is basically the G code that runs after the print finishes. G code is what controls the movement of your printer. And so this allows you to control the printer when the print finishes. 
By doing that, you can push the part off of the print bed, you can turn on a fan, you can make a bunch of beeps to alert the operator that the print's done. You can control just about everything and you can either write the custom G code in here or you can upload the G code as a text file from your local computer. And so we will never see the files that get sent. I can't see what you print. I can't see how many you print. I can't see your G code. This is a completely local system, which is really, really nice. And you can control the G code by typing it in here or uploading your own G code. And once everything is filled out here, you can either save it as a default or you can clear it out and then you can send your order and the software will distribute those orders to your printers. Now, once that order is submitted, you will see it show up as an active order right here. You can see the job name, you can see the quantity requested, you can also change the quantity here, which is really, really nice. You can see what groups it is being sent to, the status of that job, whether the ejection was enabled or disabled, and then you can move this job up or down to change the priority. It is always the top job that is gonna get prioritized first and then work its way down. You can also delete those jobs if needed. And if you are willing to share what your experience is like on social media, I want you to share, but I don't want you to have to reveal what you are printing. So if you turn on privacy mode here, it will change your job names to a bunch of stars. So that if you wanna share some screenshots or brag about how much you're printing on social media, I would really appreciate it. And I've made privacy mode so that you don't have to share all of your data. And so as we scroll down here, that is the active order section. All of this the data then gets transferred into your print history once the jobs are complete, and that's how that works. Now, reset printers by group. This is really nice because what this allows you to do is run your entire farm, finish a print, go get the prints off of the print beds if ejection is not turned on, and then you can reset all of group one at once so that the next job starts on the entire farm or the entire group all at once. You don't have to reset each printer individually. The other nice thing here is that let's say you send out the wrong file to 50 printers and you want to just stop all 50 printers at the same time. There's a bulk button here that allows you to stop all of the printers with just the click of a button. And if you ever get into an issue where your printers aren't connecting or you added too many or you, you're missing one or two, just delete all of your printers, re-upload the bulk template, and that's going to be the best way to reset the system. Also, if you have ejection turned on and you don't want it to run at night, you can turn this ejection switch off here and it will pause the ejection until you turn it back on. That means that the print will finish, it will stay in the finished state and it will not run that ejection G code in case you don't wanna run it while you're away or while you're not monitoring it or while you're asleep. And then as soon as you turn it back on, when a print finishes, it will run the ejection G code and then it will reset to ready and it will try and start whatever print is next. And so that is how that system works. Underneath here, you can see the status of all of your individual printers. You can also change it from compact view to regular view, and then you can control each printer individually. We also have a timer down here that shows exactly how long that printer has been in the finished state so that you can monitor it over time. And if you wanna sort your printers by the group, for instance, or you wanna sort by uh, the name, or you wanna sort by their status, everything is available in here and super accessible. And so that is the dashboard, that is the printer tab, that is the history tab, the bulk upload. All you have to do is have the files on your computer, create a CSV that tells us where those files are located and then upload the CSV and the software will do the rest for you. The license is super simple. You need to buy a license from our, our, from our website, printq.ca. We'll email you a license key reset your software, and then you'll be able to access as many printers as you have purchased. If you have any questions, please reach out with support. Thank you so much for watching this video. That was a nine minute roughly introduction and tutorial, and I hope this helped. Thanks so much and good luck and reach out if you have any questions. Bye for now.